you guys are actually being three weighed into our conversation right now because <laughs> we were already starting to chit chat and I stopped Brittany. I was like, hold on a second. We, we, gotta just need, we just need to start recording. We got to click start. Okay. So tell me about your fruit because Brittany's eating these super crunchy grapes. She said Listen, she's been into fresh fruit. A little ASMR. Oh, that was so anticlimactic. <laughs> no. I'm going to find one. I'm going to find one. Here, hold no, on. No, they did sound better. A little better. That's Nothing it. Nothing crazy, but... Makes me want a cherry. That's like one of my top... Ooh, top, ooh, top okay. favorite snacking fruit. I found... I saw this, like... Have you seen this guy on TikTok? He makes tea. And he's like the tea guy. No. Oh, I love him. Like I I love tea? him so much. Yeah. Like... Every tea video that I see of his, he'll just say, he'll like respond to somebody's comment and he'll be like, you want me to make a, a cherry chai? Okay. Oh. And then he'll like grab all like, and he has like, he has tea galore in his house. Yeah. Or wherever he's at. And he like sells it. Like he sells tea. So he, I went to go buy some cause I was like maybe his tea maybe my experience with tea will be better with his tea versus you know every other tea that i've had a bad experience with so but he's all sold out of course but anyway so he um he makes all this tea online and you know he's like he does like the french he has like the tea press and all that whatever yeah anyway the reason i brought him up was because he made a, the cherry chai and he mm-hmm. had this little device it was almost like a hole puncher that you put the cherry in it and then you click it and it shoots the seed out. <gasps> and it still stays whole. It's almost it's literally like a hole puncher but for a cherry seed. That's amazing. Yeah. Wait, I love that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love just like a ice cold bowl of cherries like straight out the fridge. Oh yeah. The crunch. Mm. That's so. that's honestly that's Ryan's one of Ryan's favorite fruits too. Yeah, I He's a big cherry now, guy. What is cherry season? Because I would know I was looking recently at the store and they were not there. And they're also kind of expensive. They're so expensive. They're like six ninety nine a pound or something ridiculous. I don't know. Makes me want to throw up. To oh. be completely honest with you. So what fruit have you been buying? I uh, cantaloupe, but on a big oh. cantaloupe kick as per usual. Okay. Cantaloupe's my favorite fruit. I know that's oh. a, I know that's a hot take, but if you pick out a right like a good one. It's perfect. Um, cantaloupe, grapes, watermelon, and I think that's it. Yeah, and bananas. Mm, Which are bananas. not like the, like the like that list is really it's not like the normal like strawberries, blueberries, strawberries. Yeah, know. You know what I mean? It's just like cantaloupe, cantaloupe and bananas. Yeah, right. Cantaloupe is so rancid. I love you so much. I'm a cantaloupe hater. It's not rancid. I just there's something about the sweetness of it. It's just like a it's a weird sweetness. I can't. I just can't get. I can't okay. enjoy it. It's definitely an acquired taste. Yeah, you know but what I'm saying. I ate at least I like on average maybe six cantaloupes last month. Oh an entire gosh. cantaloupes by myself. My mom's so. the same way. She'll always say, it tastes like candy. That's like her famous saying. I love I'm that. like, girl, get that thing. Because she'll just cut it in half and get the spoon and just like scoop it out and walk around with it. That checks out. Yeah. If you find a good one, ooh. I like, <laughs> Do you know how to find a good one? Oh, for sure. I've mastered it. Absolutely. What? It has to have three compo- four components. It's like all the senses pretty much. Okay. So like... You know, if you look at a cantaloupe and you see like the webbing on it and like uh-huh. the the texture of it, if the webbing is more spread out, that's the first thing. So if it's like super close together, almost like a cheese grater, that's mm. not going to, that's not, but if it looks like a spider web where it's like super spread out, yeah. that's the first. And then on the actual cantaloupe, like where it, cause obviously they grow from the ground. So it's like, there's like the stem that you break off. That little area, if it's, it, no, I don't want to say squishy because if it's squishy, like super squishy, then it's bad. But if it's, um, if you can touch it and you can press into it just like ever so slightly, and then if you take that same spot and smell it and you can smell the cantaloupe, oh. then that's when you know. Or there's some people that like like to smack of like they 
like they smack a watermelon because they sound like they're listening for the hollow sound. Mm. But it's really just honestly, it's like looking at the webbing, feeling around where the stem was and then smelling it. And if you have those three components, then you're you're golden. There is a there's a vegetable stand at, at the end of my street. Mm -hmm. And it's just like this big produce company, like every summer, spring and summer, and like a little into the fall, they set up this produce stand at the end of my street. I love it, but I also hate it because nobody knows how to park. Mm. And it's just like a bunch of old people who don't look before they open their car door. So then I'll be driving by and they'll just swing open the car door as I'm mm -hmm. driving down the road. So it's terrifying. But anyway, they, I think... The six cantaloupes that I've eaten have come from that stand. Now the gentleman calls me the melon girl. Oh. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, Amy. Uh, he should say, he goes, there's my melon girl. I'm oh. like. Uh, I love it. I love I'm it, like, though. I'm You're like, melon girl. I'm melon girl. I'm like, okay. It's good to be remembered. I love it being is. like a frequenter. Whatever right? it's called. I know. You're like a regular I know. Love it. I Brittany, love it. This just made me think of something, and oh, this no. is very sad. And oh, okay, God, no. it, <laughs> okay, sad is relative. Sad okay, is so relative. Um, I was thinking about like Jersey Mike's because it's yeah. Wait, what were you talking about before? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I literally just blank. I'm like, why does this relate to Jersey Mike's? But I have the ick to Jersey Mike's right now. No, you do not. Yes. Why? I why? got it one time, and it's like what the meat was like a little warm. Ew. And <laughs> I don't know. It just was wrong, and I remember looking at it and being like, Sophia, power through. Like, and I was I was chewing it, and I was like, it's not doing it for me. Oh, I hate it's, that. Yeah, no. Um. So I haven't had it in like months now. Okay, wait, this is why. Because I'm, I was like a frequent visitor there. Like me oh, and my yeah, girl. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I ever learned her name, but she was so cute. She had blonde hair and she remembered me. And like I went, I didn't go, I guess, for a time. And when I came back, she was like, someone, a customer was asking me the other day if we ever have people that we remember because we see them so often. She was like, I immediately thought of you. Like you're you always come in and like your sweats. And she's like, but sometimes you have these really amazing outfits. So I was like, like, yeah, like sometimes I, I think you. sometimes I'll come like from work or like something oh, from yeah, the med yeah. spa. But then sometimes I actually roll up in my sweat set. But she was like, yeah, I love to see you. Like, you're always so sweet. I was like, I'm about to cry right now. Like, right. you don't understand what this just did to me. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, and I think about you too, girl. Like, I get happy to see you too. I'm like, right. oh, she's still here. I love her. So, yeah. I love that. It's just a familiar face. I love it. But yeah, I'm, I'm at the ick moment with Josie oh. Mike's. And I've never verbally admitted it to anyone until just now. I'm very proud of you. I know that I know that took a lot. I know that took a lot. Because like when you think about it, it's like eh, whatever. But then when you say it out loud, and you're like, whoa. Mm -hmm. It's and you true. know how hard I ride for Jersey Mike. Oh, for sure, absolutely. We like some of our best core memories were at Jersey Mike's, or we would get Jersey Mike's before we would like go lay out at the pool. Oh, oh such good times! That freaking dog, dude. Oh my gosh, I know he you literally that? yopped up that Let same way. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to this. So, <laughs> Sophia was in Richmond. Have you had you moved at this point and no, you came to visit, no, or were you there. still okay? Yeah, girl. So this is when Sophia lived in Richmond. So my dad's best friend, his name is Mike, and he has a pool in his backyard. And I dog sit. If you follow my TikTok, you know that I've posted a few TikToks at this house. Um, and he, I dog sit for him pretty often. I have been for years. And he's like, if you ever want to use the pool, just let me know. I'm like, okay, cool. He's family at this point. So I called him one day and I was like, yo, Sophia and I want to come use the pool. And he's like, that's totally fine. That works. I was like, we're just trying to tan, enjoy our day. So we're like, what's the perfect poolside snack? Jersey Mike's and some salt and vinegar chips. Like, absolutely. Mm. We're going to go. Yeah, right. I was like, we're going to go do that. So we picked it up. We get to the house, whatever. 
And he's like, hey, I'm going to let the dogs out. I said, that's fine. Like, you know, whatever. I like dogs. It's not, it's, uh, they're going to say, they're going to say hi for like two seconds and then go and then run away. <laughs> no. Little did I know. So we had, I had like a whole, like a whole sub. <laughs> this dog, golden retriever, this dog like came over and it all happened. It, it happened in slow motion, but it also happened so fast. Because this dog sniffed it, and then, <laughs> and before I could literally blink my eyes, and just inhaled and stole my entire sub. <laughs> and I just remember sitting there being like, <laughs> "You literally did had taken? Did you take like two bites of it? I hadn't even taken a bite yet." It was insane. No, you're right. It happened in like the blink of an eye. Like it was so fast. And, like I don't think anybody could have reacted. I guess it was my mistake because like normally, I guess dogs that I've been around, they'll sniff something a few times and then they'll try and take a bite. But this dog was like, <laughs> like just immediately like, you know what I mean? Oh yeah. I'm like, I'm but like, those dogs no were freaking those way. dogs were like really hyperactivity. Oh for sure, absolutely. <laughs> like they, yeah. Remember, so, didn't the one like steal your glasses or something? Oh my god, yeah. Wait, I had I, was I left. There. You were there. Okay, so another another story. So, um one thing that the Mike he told me to do because they they got a um, black lab puppy and he was like, "Do not leave anything on any counter where the dog can reach it, reach and get to it." I said, "Okay." He was like, "Any shoes, any personal belongings, the and the TV remote." I was like, heard. That's fine. So the night before I had watched, I stayed up until like 4 a.m. watching a TV show. Like it was one of those, like I could not turn it off. Like I had to continue. I don't even remember what show it was. But anyway, fell asleep. With, and the, but I ended up going to bed and I kept the remote on the, on the counter. Didn't even think twice. Woke up the next day, made myself a, I was going to make myself a cup of coffee, but I didn't have any coffee. So I was like, I'm going to go get coffee. So I got up from the couch and left the remote and my glasses on the counter. And I went on my merry way to go pick up my coffee. I came back. The TV remote was gone. And oh no, the TV remote was on the floor, chewed up, and a battery was missing. And yeah. my glasses were, were completely destroyed. I like, know you're about to say murdered. <laughs> murdered. My glasses were murdered. Completely destroyed. So I was like, this cannot, like, this cannot be real. So, of course, my heart sinks. I am basically having a panic attack. I'm, like, hyperventilating, can't breathe. I'm crying so hard. The first thing that I do is... I think I think the dog ate the battery, right? I thought the dog ate the battery because yeah. I could not find the battery. So, like, I'm running around of course i'm looking at the dog and i'm like bad girl no like bad you know whatever and she's like <laughs> and, you know no the sort of been done. no it remorse no <laughs> remorse so i'm like we're sprinting around the house i am taking off cushions i am throwing blankets everywhere i'm moving furniture i'm like looking in drawers i went out into the backyard with a freaking flashlight and was looking around in the backyard <laughs> and i think i can't remember if i call oh i called my dad uh-huh and i called my dad and i was like in tears i said dad i think nova the dog i was like i think nova ate the battery out of the tv remote i was like i don't know what to do like i'm freaking out he told me not to leave the remote blah 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 and he's like, I'm on the way. And then you and I were supposed to go get lunch. Mm -hmm. So I called Sophia in tears. And I was like, Sophia, I, you know, I'm freaking out. I don't know what to do. Like, they're dog, blah, blah. And you were like, I'm coming over. So you and my dad show up. And so my dad calls Mike for me because I was terrified to tell him. Mike is probably one of the coolest guys ever. He's so chill. You could literally, like... You could spray paint his entire house a different color and he wouldn't bat an eye. Like he like nothing but like nothing bothers this man. But I was still terrified to tell him that Nova could have quite possibly eaten the battery. Yeah. So so Mike calls me. I just remember looking down at my phone and like immediately panicking even more because I'm like, 
uh, that means dad talk to him i gotta answer the phone so i answer the phone and he's like hey and he's laughing on the other side on the other line and mm-hmm. i was like mike i'm so sorry and he was like Brittany, do you know how many remotes that she's chewed on yeah he was like it's fine yeah so lo and behold my dad's like Brittany, you and sophia go get lunch he was like i'm gonna look around some more he was like, worst case, if, and, and Mike even said, he's like, look, if you cannot find the battery, he's like, just take her to the vet. Just let me know and I'll call and make an emergency visit. Your father will take it. It's fine. So I'm like, thank God. We're like not even 10 minutes down the road. My dad sends me a picture. She found, we, he found the battery and it was under, it, but, but the, what's crazy is that it was underneath a chair that was on the ground. Yeah. So it was I very still, we, we never would have. No, like I do not know how the battery got under there. Yeah. Because it wasn't even like tucked in on the side. It was like in the middle underneath the chair that was on the ground. So yeah. Your dad was such a G for being like, hey, y'all go get lunch and I'll look for it. Yeah, and he was like, funny. I'll right, he was like, I'll take the dog. I'm like, <laughs> Her dad is so cool, I will say. I've met him a couple of times, and he's always been incredibly nice and chill. He's a cool dude. He's a cool cat. Um, Wait, tell me about the thing, the TikTok thing okay. where you're like, my jaw dropped. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I wrote down, I said, <laughs> influencers need to be stopped. <laughs> Let me explain. I... So I didn't come across the original video because I think the original video got deleted. But this was a, you know how like something happens and a TikToker will be like, did you all see that this happened on like from this creator? It's like the news, but it's like other, that's like the niche or whatever. Breaking news. Exactly. Yeah. Breaking news, influencer drama. Great day. But so this girl... (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> she is a she was a formal form f- former bachelor contestant. So she was on the bachelor. Mm-hmm. She was doing a pack with me video. Oh, right. No. With like a bunch of different outfits and stuff because she was going. She was like, I think she was going to Europe or something. She was traveling somewhere mm-hmm. and she was making a video doing like a pack with me. And she showed her computer screen And I don't know how she did it or, like, whatever, but she basically constructed outfits on a Word document. Mm -hmm. And she was showing the outfits on the Word document. (laughs) She literally, it's not funny. She did a fit check to go to Auschwitz from the Holocaust. Auschwitz, the, the concentration camp. Wait, what? She did, a sh- like, on the document, she had every day planned <gasps> out. And one of the days was outfit to go to Ashwitz. <laughs> so, so, so. And people are like, hello? Like, the people are like, uh, somebody said, hey, so this is actually insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> like. Doing a whole planned, super cute outfit to go to a concentration camp. I'm like, there are some things that just do not need to be planned. You know what I mean? They're, well, not necessarily planned. But, but like, like, that's never going to happen. Like, you're right. never going to be, I mean, God forbid. Well, you can go. No, no, no. Like, she was going on a oh, tour. Oh, oh, oh. Like, to, yeah. okay, I see. Oh yeah, she was going on a tour of the of auschwitz and she was like and she just goes like yes and then she had the outfit the whole outfit coordinated to go to the concentration camp i'm like babe you could have just said like outfit for day four you literally (laughs) it didn't have to be so specific she like labeled every outfit i'm like what was it is not that i don't need honestly I stopped watching because I was laughing so hard and because I was like, I was like, you have got to be kidding me right now. I'm like, out of all places, it's giving when people like go see the 9-11 memorial or like the stat, like the, um, where the twin towers were and they, and people sit 
have you ever seen that? Uh huh. Videos of like influencers like posing on top of the placards where the, with mm-hmm. the names and stuff are. I'm like, read the room. So out of touch. Read the freaking room. I'm like, I'm like out of all places that you could have done a pack with me. Get ready with me. Out of all. The- <laughs> sorry it's not it's, what was it's her response if i don't any. know i don't know that's the only video that i saw and i immediately i said that's enough that's enough tiktok for the day i had to <laughs> cl- i had to close i had to close the app there's always that one video that just makes me go you know what this is enough i'm done did scrolling you, did you see the national anthem being sang at that <laughs> that's my second thing okay <laughs> now you saw the ladies update i did i did I think she's I, lying. <laughs> I thought about it when you were talking about the comments, like to that other video. Like now, this is literally insane because <laughs> all of my comments were like, "Fergie, you have been completely forgiven. Fergie, literally, you are no longer the worst national anthem rendition. Yeah, our age has seen. Mm-hmm. Dude, it was so bad. I I like have listened to it a couple of times because it felt like she was just freestyling, which I guess if Dude. she was drunk, she probably was. I think she's lying. I think it's a PR thing. Really? I think it's like I think it's a stretch. Well, okay, lying might be I don't know, because like I'm I'm kind of in the middle. Yeah. So like on one on one end when she was like, That wasn't me, I was drunk, I was like I was like, Yeah, I was like well that checks out. But then on the other hand, I'm like, What if she's just so bad live that they were like just say you're drunk and then drop off the grid for a couple months. Yeah. I you don't know what know. I mean? I need, I feel like I need to now look up videos of her like concerts and stuff because Dude. like, can Miss Girl sing? Because that song of hers, the, uh, what is it? Meet your mama or something? Yes. Take you home to mama. Yeah. More hearts than mine. Yes. Than I mine. love that song. Great song. When I found out that that was the same girl, I said, you're joking i know i'm like there's no way but also i have never heard of her since then so i'm like this is kind of sad if this is because it seemed like i looked on her instagram and she was promoting like new music oh Um, bless her heart i know i'm like i haven't really heard from her in a while like maybe this was supposed to be her like come back to the media like her come back to the public type of thing I don't know. I'm totally assuming because I just haven't really heard of her, but also I haven't been looking for her. So I don't know. But I'm just like empathetic. I'm like, poor girl. Like, this is not a good moment for you. Bless your heart. Surely she'll be able to laugh about it later. I hope so. (laughs) I hope so, too. Because Lord knows we are. Because I am. (laughs) Because. Because I certainly am. Because I certainly am. The ending bit. Like, y'all have to go search it up, please. Oh, my God. Like, if you... Okay, so if you don't know what we're talking about, there's this girl. Her name is, like, Ingrid. I don't know her last name. That, yeah. But she... She sang... She has, like, two... She has a couple hit songs. But the two that Sophie and I were thinking of, it's, like, on... She's, like, a indie country kind of vibe. Yeah. And she... There was, like, one song of hers that was, like, trending on TikTok. Like, whatever. Right? So... Yeah, because when we, I saw her name, I was like, I have no idea who this girl is, right? Right. So, but then as soon as I looked up her music, I said, there is no way that that is the same girl. Because my mind immediately went to, you know what people are saying about Jennifer Lopez. Mm. There's like a conspiracy that she doesn't say, like she can't actually sing. Oh. <gasps> really yeah there's like a conspiracy or like there's people saying that it's like you know in her songs it's somebody it's almost like a ghost voice no kind of thing that's just what i've seen a couple like a couple because i went down a jennifer lopez rabbit hole dude that's crazy i keep seeing updates about her and ben affleck and i'm like okay so what is it like are y'all together or y'all not together like right i don't get did they ever get married apparently official so against my will i know about it so (laughs) Against my will. Now, Brittany was um, literally just saying today she does not like I celebrity don't. gossip. I don't. But I'm just like, give me the rundown. But I know about it, so <laughs> it's like it's one of those things that it's like it. It just depends on the celebrity drama. If it's something okay, if it's something so stupidly mundane, like 
oh, Taylor Swift spotted at Publix, I'd be like, T go touch some grass. Literally, who cares? But then if it's like somebody else being like, oh, this person got caught doing this, that, and the third, like a P. Diddy kind of vibe, then I'd be like a, whoa, I want to go down that rabbit hole. That's crazy. Yeah, like having different... a ghost singer, ghost right. voice. There's like different extremes. So it's like, yeah, there. So, so they were married at one point, I think, or they were together at one point. Yeah. And then they separated, and then she married J. Rod or whoever, whatever, whoever he is. <laughs> I think it's A Rod. A Rod, J Rod, same said thing. J Rod too. Okay, I, I don't know why. Yeah. Period. So she she married the Rodster, right? So they got <laughs> so they got married, and then they got divorced, and then like pretty much immediately they got back together. And I don't, I've I've heard from like half the people that they're married, and then I've heard that they're not. So I honestly have no idea, but I just see it. But I just know every time that I think of Ben Affleck, I think of the meme of him like leaning up and like smoking, a, smoking yes. a cigarette. And he just always looks like he hates his life and that he never wants to be anywhere doing anything. He looks so tired. Yes. He like, looks tired, sickly. Like I, I hate it here. I don't. Yeah. So her and Ben Affleck were like kind of a early to mid 2000s, like mm -hmm. icon couple, like. I don't know if it was in her Jenny from the Block era, but it was definitely after and maybe more like 2008. I don't know. Right. She's <laughs> just running up and down the block. I love when my hair looks like just this. Just my hair looks like this. When just I was just a crazy girl. Crazy girl running up and down the block. <laughs> Yes. I love it. I love I it when people it. are like unintentionally hilarious. Oh, I know. It's like, girl, be for real. I love it. Yeah, no, but she, um, she's back with Ben Affleck, but it's just the constant back forth. Are they together? Are they not? Right? I can't even. This is ridiculous. It's so. It's a lot. But what yeah. are we even talking about? Ingrid being a singer. Oh, thank you. And, like yes. J Lo not singing. So like, yeah. So if you don't know what we're talking about, it was the um. The home run derby, I think, was it that, or like an all star so. game or something, something like that? MLB, something, something baseball related, and she was singing the national anthem. And it was one of those things that it was quite literally so bad that people. It's almost like the Fergie, like ten years ago at mm. the NBA finals. Ben Yes. <laughs> so, honestly, I just kind of want to play a little clip of it. Please do, because I played Ben her, her, yeah, yeah, way the other day. I was, like, looking back on it. And she kind of ate it up after. Like, she did have some good moments in, in the song where she, like, right. kinda, like her vocals kind of shred. But Miss Ingrid... Kind of shred. It was like a full, like I'm telling you freestyle, like someone who can't sing, just making it up. It felt like <laughs> the caption of this video said home run derby off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to play a little snippet of it. No, uh, uh, Brittany is so freaking popular. It's always someone I literally told him. I told him that I was recording tonight. This is my boyfriend FaceTiming me. So I'm just going to. Are we he hung up. No. Oh. I was like, are we live right now? That ain't. Everybody's like, whoa. <laughs> this is my favorite part.
Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Like, that's a freestyle. Like, the. Like, mm -mm. girl. Babe. Like, there ain't no way. Like, at that point, I would just, like, I would genuinely just, like, at my career. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like everybody would come up to me and be like, you're the girl. Like, yeah. You I'm know? honestly amazed at how quickly that, like, how quick the turnaround was of her oh, performing and then being like, look, I'm going to rehab. So, like, I love the accountability. Um, I need to follow her so I can, like, stay updated. <laughs> What? Just the way, just the way you said it. It's like the turnaround. Like, yeah, I'm going to rehab. <laughs> I mean, I mean, and she said like, it straight up. Like, she really she, did. She, and she, she said, hit, he, she hit us with the Instagram story post. Okay, heard it's fun. Like, heard it's fun. <laughs> can't wait. XOXO. She took so. a picture of a black screen. White text. White text said, "Heard it's fun." A peace out, Girl Scout. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. Good gosh. for her. I hope no, she gets No, seriously. The help. Good for I hope her. she comes out. I hope she goes on a podcast and talks about it. She needs to sing it next year. Yes. Yeah. They need to have her back. I feel like I want her to go on either Drew Affalo's podcast. Uh huh. Or Tana and Brooke. I want her to go on one of their podcasts. That'd be really good. Hilarious. I haven't listened to Drew's podcast much, but. I haven't listened um, at all. I've just seen clips on TikTok. She's so funny. I know. She's she, like, she's a whole, we, oh, we're mutuals, dude, on WXO. I love that. That is I love like, that. I think that's one of like the top people that I feel like is worthy of noting. That's amazing. My queen. Um, what was your other stuff? Um, okay. So there is this TikTok account that quite literally Every time I see a video, it it drives me absolutely crazy. Like, I have never, ever leaving a hate comment before. I've never done it. I considered it. Like, that's how bad, like, that's how yeah. bad this account is. So it's this mom. Whether it's a joke. Okay, so just a disclaimer. Whether it's a joke or not, because some people are like, I can't believe you're actually taking this seriously. Whether it's a joke or not, it's quite literally the stupidest thing I've ever seen. So this mom takes it basically just like shoves a phone in her kid's face, kids faces. Her, her kid is like at least six or seven years old. Maybe no, that's a lie. At least 10. I don't know. After honestly, after five years old, one kid oh, can so tell me one kid could tell me that they're, that they're 15. I'm like, huh? I'm like ages nine to 13 are all the same to me. I can't, I can never tell. Yeah. I, I can never tell. Honestly, so, 7 to 13. Literally. I'm like, I, you're, you're 13. That's crazy. I thought you were at least nine. So it's, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's just one of those things. So, so the little girl has so much attitude, so much attitude. Like the mom will be like, what do you have to say for yourself? Like, why could you do that? And the little girl's like in her face like i can't believe the mom i can't believe that you did that blah 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 i'm sitting there i'm like it's like and the the couple prank tiktoker that I, that I can't stand and the comments are saying like oh it's the parents fault it's your mom it's your fault you're instigating the behavior and blah 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 because like there was one video where there was like four or five mark jacobs purses all lined up and the mom was like you took my card and you went and you bought seven hundred dollars worth of purses and the little girl's like yeah and i'll do it again <gasps> and she's like seven i don't know she's she's just young right she's young and i'm sitting there and i'm like again whether it's a joke or not that makes me absolutely terrified for the next generation it's weird that that would be like a hobby between you and your daughter to it's like just... make videos where you're fake yelling at her and she's yes. in trouble and like doing bad things and she's being a brat it seems like yeah and the mom's like cut the attitude stop it right now the little girl's like nah, 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 nah. like literally <sighs> i'm like if my mom called my name and i and it wasn't anything but a yes or a yes ma'am 
If I said what, she'd be like, say that again. I get checked right then and there. Mom, all she had to do was look at me and I was, it, I was, I'm sad. Like just, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. I, and just, I have to, if, if I see another video of theirs on my For You page, I'll have to send it to you. They almost have like, like two, three million followers. I need to see it. And yeah, please. I've got to, I've got to know. The rage that it brings in, that it brings inside of me, just like on the just like you know coming from like the developmental side of things she's a child whether that's... it's a joke or not it is a child i know that's so weird it's weird weirdo behavior it's so weird i agree very weirdo behavior i know it's it just it drives me nuts and i just basically wrote down like you know, just terrified for the next generation because everything is so online and these kids are like just so used to having a phone shoved in their face. It's different if you're like, if, if you're taking a photo of them for memories or like, you know, if they're a baby and they're doing something cute, you're like, oh, I want to get that on video so I can watch it later. Like that's, you know, that that's a completely different story that there there's no difference between the phone and the big camcorder that you had to put on your shoulder for when your mom took a video of you when you were the kid in the 90s you know what i mean i know so it's like there's not a big difference in that but still it's just it is just absolutely insane because it's she has two daughters and it's both of them and i'm like there's no way that this is real like there's no, no way that it's real it can't be real and the fact that it's also not real and they like to do this for fun it's not like it doesn't seem like it's fun loving. It seems mm -hmm. like she's actually pretending like she's angry. And that's just her weird. Her tone is convincing. I'll give her that. Yeah. I don't know, dude. The next generation, like the way that I had to wait until, to get a Facebook until I was in eighth grade, 13 years old. Same. Okay. Yep. Like children now are probably begging for TikTok at like age eight. No, that's even like the kids that I babysit. One of them is five. And he's, like, is on, like, YouTube Kids scrolling. Like, there's, like, monitored versions of it. YouTube Reels Kids or, like, whatever Wild. their Reels thing is. I know. Yeah, like, yeah, But even still, like, they also know how to work an iPad. Like, they can get on Safari. They can Google, like, Lego yep. video and just, like, start watching. That's insane. They're just so – it's just so at their reach, you know? Yes. Like, they grow up with all of this stuff. For sure. Mm-hmm. And the pressures of social media as a child. God, I can't even imagine. Ugh. Cannot even imagine. Absolutely not. Mm -mm. It's just like so detrimental to the mental. So bad. I don't know what we're going to do. Like, I guess we just have to cross that bridge when we get there. Because I think like, oh, not that much can change in five years. But like a lot can change in five years. A lot can change. Think about the iPhone. Every year they come out with them. I'm like, how much better can y'all make this thing? Really? Honestly, like every because y'all have a new update. And with the new update comes new fun features. So it's like, unless they come up with an iPhone that is indestructible and waterproof, I'm, I, I'm not going to be impressed. I know. But then, of course, after two years, your iPhone, like, stops working and goes to yes. actual crap. Like, mine's about to get there. It's starting. It's just going downhill. So I guess I'm going to wait until September or whatever. Whenever it drops. I don't know. My I, I can't have a phone. Like, my battery doesn't that hold too. a charge. doesn't hold a charge to save its life. Granted, I'm on it for work about 90% of the day. But even then, like, you know, I have to charge it constantly throughout the day same oof i actually got a notification it sent me like a battery health notification like my maximum because you can go on your settings and yeah. it recommended me to get the battery replaced so i had that on my to-do list of like get a new iphone battery but then i'm like okay i'm already this close to september i guess i should just wait until they drop the new one at this point what's your capacity 76 or something i gotcha What's yours? 84. Dude. So. We're working not at great rates. No. My screen I time guess that is, basically yikes. means like when it's 100, it's actually 76. <laughs> right? I don't know. I don't know how that works. No I don't clue. know how that works. Um, well, yeah. But maybe. 
Yeah, because what is it? Maximum capacity? That's what it says. Right. Yeah, I, I guess. guess like it can only hold the maximum charge of that even makes on sense. low battery. Even on low battery, my phone still dies. Yep. Valid. Oh. It'll say like twenty percent, and I'll go on low battery mode, and like literally thirty seconds later, it's like ten percent. I'm like, <laughs> I, I just, know. I just said the yeah, I get it. I know too freaking much, but I have a question for you. <laughs> okay. I have a question. If yes, there was, if there was something, is there something that you would not do for all the money in the world? Like, it's just like, like, if, if it's one of those, you know, it's like, oh, you, you couldn't pay me to do that. Um, I want to say immediately like skydiving. Same. Is that one of yours? Yeah. Like That's that one of mine. is just the thought is so absolutely bone ch- chilling, terrifying. Right. Cause I don't like the feeling of being dropped of like dropping. Cause like, uh, you know, like at. Uh, amusement parks they mm-hmm. have like those towers that drop mm-hmm. i don't like that feeling i like it for maybe five seconds but just like the constant just falling from the sky and then with that little slight chance that the parachute doesn't open no Mm-mm. i'm good hard pass no absolutely not um i also like something with caves like i know there's a lot of people who like go down and explore caves oh and yeah they, like, like super like Yes, you have to, like, wiggle through all the super tight spots. No. My mom's friend, apparently, I was, like, hanging out with her one time, and she mentioned, she's like, oh, yeah, me and my ex-husband, like, we used to be big, like, cave divers or whatever it's called. She's like, oh, yeah, we'd be, like, stuck up in there. Like, your nose would be, like, touching the wall. Like, you would be that packed in. You just have to wiggle through. I'm like, that sounds like the seventh level of hell. Literally. I would lose. I would... There are so many things where I'm like, I would have a heart attack before someone else killed me or blank yes. killed me. Like, I would die of fear yep. before any natural cause. My heart would quite literally explode. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, would, I would go into, I would go into cardiac arrest and then have a stroke. And they'd be like, what was cause of death? Like, she literally panicked to death. Like, if I was squeezed in that tight uh, in a dark uh, place, no. I feel like my lungs would, I feel like my organs would fail. Mm. dude think about all the miners like the coal miners like in appalachia and like Uh, uh. for that's all that they did all day i mean i guess people do still mine for coal what am i talking about but like (laughs) back in the day when they didn't really have like really good safety precautions right gear and no lights and they had a pitchfork and vibes that's it literally dude i would be so not for the front lines like no absolutely not yeah so something small like that would be like you can't pay me no, no, it's tight space like that. No amount of money. No amount of money. Um, I have one. Have you seen that couple on TikTok that goes backpacking? No. And they go backpacking for like long periods of time. Uh uh-uh. uh. They there's this couple and they they go backpacking, but it's not just like. It's not like a oh we're gonna go backpacking and like stay in hostels and like, you know do the super fun adventurous like, they are for like a month straight in the wilderness with a backpack like sleeping outside and yes the whole nine Mm -mm. like like literally like the backpack and that's it and i (laughs) and you know they are they love it and i love the fact that they love it and i love the fact that they both love it so much equally that they can do it together but i'd rather not ever absolutely not like they just you where know, do they and, go like around the united states or i think like at one countries? point they like walked from like one side of the state to the other or something Dang. so yeah. they just kind of vlog their they vlog journey? like they vlog everything they like you know they have like gopros and they do like little like this is what we pack when we're going on like a week-long hike or like this is what we packed when we went across state lines or like something like that and yeah. I love them. They're they're pros. They're very wholesome. I love that for them. Me on the other hand, absolutely not. And I'm not even a camper. Like the you could not pay me to sleep in a tent like on the hard ground outside. No. No amount of money. No amount of money. Well, I'm caving. 
I'm caving at like 10k, honestly. Caving? Okay, maybe even less. Like I'm, I'm giving in. Like you would only have to oh, pay me. Like I was like, Sophia, <laughs> you literally just said. I was like, you do that for ten thousand. I was like, you just said that you would, like you would. Oh I, my okay. gosh, I forgot. Now I'm, now I'm, now I'm computing. Okay. Yeah, no, I would sleep on the floor for some money. It depends. <laughs> like outside alone, probably not. Yeah, in like a campground. Okay. Uh. <laughs> maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just like, I don't want to say bougie because I, I feel like that word is so overused, but well, it's like, like, if you don't want to sleep on the ground, you don't want to sleep on the ground. I like, don't. Your back will be aching. Mine would. I, <laughs> so for work, there is, there's a, cause every, every month we have incentives that kind of just like, if we hit our, if we hit our goal, then we get a little extra cash. And then sometimes suppliers what they'll do is they will be like hey if you sell x amount then if you win then we'll like treat you on a trip pretty much so that's like the cool thing about my job nice so um last month i was number two in the whole company to win because it's the, it's the top two people oh. and okay congrats. but okay so thanks but i so we ended okay so there's there's a company goal Mm -hmm. And then there is a salesperson goal. So out of all of the, com like the sales people, I was the second one. Oh. But we did not hit the company wide goal. So we couldn't go. Oh. Which I think is kind of stupid, but that's neither here or there. So yeah, we were, we were literally off by like three or four cases. Dang. Like it was, it was one of the, it was that, like that close. Right. But anyway, so the trip was camping mm. in a tent. Like glamping or like no. sleeping on the floor? Sleeping on the floor in a tent. <laughs> Where? In Oregon. Oh, okay. So they're flying you out there to sleep on the ground? Yes. Okay. That seems like, like, like a oh. lot of, tr I don't know, going all the way to Oregon. I mean, that's across the country. Yes. I don't, I don't know. I don't want to sound like bougie, but I feel like if I'm flying, if my, if I'm flying my company, like across the country, don't we want to like stay in a cabin or something? <laughs> Just like, I agree. Yep. Some structure. I'm like, I mean, okay. I mean, the trip <laughs> itself sounded super cool. It was basically like a camp, but for like an adult summer camp. Okay. So, like, in reality, it sounded fun, but I'm like, you had me until the tent. How many days? A weekend. Friday to Monday, I think. Or Friday to Sunday. Okay. I don't know. I don't want to say I wouldn't do it because that sounds fun, but I get... Okay, so... And it's not your company is making this. It's the... Who is offering this up? Is the supplier. So, oh, the, the supplier, supplier is like, hey, if you sell X amount of product... Yeah. And if you win as, like, a thank you... We'll do yeah. this for you, kind of thing. Get, get us a cabin. Get us a cabin, babe. Just get us a cabin. Cause like when I found out, cause at first when I found out like what it was, I like talked to a guy that went last year, <gasps> and I was like, hey, so like, tell me about it. I'm like, is this gonna? I was like, should I try? You know what I mean? Like obviously you want to try, but I'm like, should I pull for favors? Like, is this a trip? Where I'm like, I'm cashing in a favor. I need you to pick up some cases kind of thing. Yeah. And he's like, honestly, he's like, I had a lot of fun. He was like, but this is the trip. And he goes, you camp. And I said, I'm going to stop you there. I'm not going. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to stop you right there. You had me until camp. No, I, and that's the first question I asked. I said, okay, is it glamping or is it like camping? And he said, oh, no, you, like, sleep in a tent. It's camping. I said, yeah, I'm out. I guess also your industry is very male-dominated. So is. you are probably the only one who cares. It is. Like, I'm Literally. sure all these other men are like, hell yeah. Like, they can't wait to bro it out. No, but honestly. like, And, and there, was another, there was another incentive. If you won, you got taken on a round of golf. I said, <laughs> I, I, said I could think of about a thousand other things that i would rather do than go play around a golf like that's just you know what i mean dude i'm like woo you know what i mean i'm like tell no. me you tell me you work for a very male-dominated industry without telling me 
Because, like, out of the entire company, there's maybe, like, eight women out of the Mm. entire company. And I'm like, okay, love that for us, you know? But, like, out of the salespeople, there's three. My god, Including myself. They need help. They need help with this, the travel, the the bookings. I know. So I'm like, that's crazy. But there's... (laughs) There is a trip coming up, I think. It should be coming up soon. The incentive to go to Germany. <gasps> and I want to go so bad. Yeah. So I'm going to be pulling favors left and right. Yes, yes, yes. So left this, and right. Does this one matter just for you personally or is it you and the company again? What do you mean? Like the you have to hit the goals for like your sale goals and then yes. the overall. And then the overall goal. Yeah. Okay. For sure. But it's going to be a lot easier because oh, okay. the product's good. So it'll, it'll be it'll be a lot easier. But, yeah, it's like if you win, then you get, like, an all-expenses-paid trip to Germany. <gasps> Do you get to, and, like, tour there? Oh, yeah. You get to tour facilities. Like, they basically treat you the entire time you're there. Oh, my God. And you get to, amazing. like, and you get to, like, go to Oktoberfest. Like, the big, like, world-famous, you know, the whole – because, like, Oktoberfest originated in Germany. Yeah. So you get to go to that festival in Germany. That'd be crazy. Which is insane, right? You gotta go. Dude, I want to go so bad. I need to get you my passport. Go. I don't oh have my, my passport. Gosh. I know. I got to get my passport. Girl, get on that. It takes forever. And I was just talking today to my manager about that. because, Or actually, no, one of the ladies at the med spa. I mean, even the express passport now is like six to eight weeks. And that's – you're paying like hundreds of dollars extra. Oh, perfect. Love that. Yeah. So like you got to – it's it's crazy out there now heard um Good to wait know. i was gonna i was gonna what was it oh you mentioned golf like a round of golf being the yes. prize which is yeah. like, <laughs> okay what about like a round at the nearest outlet mall like we go into no but store. honestly <laughs> like, like no but like literally take me to a store and say you have an hour get anything you want yes. absolutely freaking lo- thank yeah. you so much i'll run me my check like it's just you know what i mean it That's was like a lot oh, more appealing. it's like oh, here's here's you know here's the this is what you win. You win a going to a baseball game and then going on a round of golf. I'm like, I like baseball, so I'm like, yeah, I'll gobble down a hot dog or two. Like I'm not worried about it. You know what I mean? Yeah, baseball is fun, but golf is like. So my mom. Okay, so I live in Atlanta. There's a golf mm-hmm. course. And that's somewhere in Atlanta. And my mom and I had taken a lesson when we were on vacation, like, a few months ago. My oh, yeah, stepdad, I saw that. Yes, he was taking some lessons, and he, like, always wants us to be, like, super well-rounded and, like, do have all Cute. these, like, good experiences. So he's like, please take one of my lessons, like, oh. me and my mom. We're like, okay, fun. Like, we can't wait to dress up. So we got out there pouring sweat. I, like, figured out how to swing the golf club. Like, I definitely know how. I'm not saying I do it perfect, but... I get the gist. My mom gets the gist, okay? Like, we're hitting with the driver. We're trying to launch the ball as far as we can. But, like, that is it. That is it. Our golf knowledge ends right there, okay, at that one lesson that we literally had. My mom came to visit me in Atlanta a couple months later. And I was like, hey, what do you want to do while you're here? We have a long weekend. She's like, we should definitely play golf. Like, we need to stay on top of it, Sophia. Like, we need to make sure that we had our lesson and that we're continuing to practice. We don't forget it. She's like, we can go to the golf course that's, like, close to you. I was like, Mom, I'm not not going no. there. She's like, <laughs> they have, like, a sand pit out front. Like, you can, like, practice. I was like, oh, with all the with all the teenage boys? Kill me! Literally. And then she's like, well, we could just do, like, a, a round of golf. I was like, Mom... We would look like dumb and dumber out there on the, yeah. that course. We would be holding them up. They would get complaints. There's two ladies on hole three who like literally, literally don't know what they're doing. I'm like, you. We had one lesson, and now you're like, let's go play a round of golf. Right. The PGA tour is calling. <laughs> like there is, you know what I mean. So much more to it, mom. Like I love that she was just like so excited about it but i'm like no you actually have to know what you're doing to like be out there because yeah there are people like waiting behind you with like, active we can't, tea times yeah we can't be like filming tiktoks at hole three and like holding up the line and like laughing and then no, no yeah the alex is alex is golfing right now he's going through a phase i'm mm. calling it a phase because there was one night where i saw i saw a video and it was um <laughs> and it was basically like it was a video of these dudes being like what time did you tell your wife you're gonna be home 
and he was like 7 30 or like 5 30 it's like what time is it now seven you know what i mean like those like that video uh-huh. so him and i were on facetime and i was like i'm so glad you don't golf and he was like well i said you're joking i'm like alex say it isn't so like obviously kidding I'm, I'm happy that he has a hobby but he's like yeah he's like yeah like my co-workers you know they like invited me out to a round of golf and he's like i used to go with my dad when i was a kid and like i just kind of dropped it and he was like honestly like, it's a lot of fun i was like you know what i love that for you i'm like go have fun as i said as long as it doesn't interfere with our plans i don't care have fun whatever yeah and now he's like Brittany, i want you to go golfing with me i said no <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Before and he's like, he even finished the sentence, right? No. I'm like, no. I know you were going with this. No, right? No. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, come on, no, no. He's like, but you can. He was like, you can drive the cart. I said, no. Oh. He's it's like, just... he's like, you can drive the cart and like, you know, you can like bring your Kindle and you can read and and blah blah blah. So now he's like on TikTok and there's these videos of the like there's this girl her name's leslie i think and she is married to this guy cody he's the one with like the red beard with the white um birthmark and it's like a white stripe in his beard oh i never seen it but that's cool Ooh, okay i'll have to send it to you and like they're just like a super wholesome like tiktok couple or whatever like one of the only tiktok couples that i can tolerate looking at and that i can tolerate their videos so um he was so she was she made a video of her being like I, you know, my husband loves hanging out with me. Like, you know, when he goes on a round of golf, like he wants me to come out with him. So I just like, I just drive the golf cart and I bring my Kindle out here and I read and blah, blah, blah. So of course Alex is sending me that. He was like, see, he was like, they, they do it. And he was like, we can get like matching outfits. I said, <sighs> I'm like, <laughs> it would be nice in the fall. When yes. It's like very cool outside and like please don't make it take five hours like no but literally can we do like an hour and a half two hours at the max do like a quick nine holes don't make it 18 mm, please mm. make it a quick nine quick niner and i'll maybe if it's like a crisp fall day and it's like 75 degrees with a oh. nice breeze sign me up and like a nice view sign me up Mm. right i'll drive the golf cart all day long but if Mm. it's like lately how it's quite literally been 105 with the heat index of 111 no thank you (laughs) i know no thank you that sounds like hell my thighs would be sweating on that seat so heavily the yeah i just like there's nothing that i hate there's like textures that i hate Mm. and one of them is when my thigh sweat like sweat like on my on my face like sweat on my armpits my back i'm like whatever but the second that my thighs start to get like sticky and like Mm. slippery on the seat and i have to like peel myself off the chair i'm like no i'm already overstimulated and i want to go home terrible and i was thinking then you have to like deal with them all day like if their round of golf ends up going terribly right you have to like be there to like witness all of it and deal with all of the there, there, sweetheart. A bad self-talk and uh, right. like beating himself up, and then he's pissed off. Oh. And you're like, all right, this was fun, but not this anymore. Was fun. <laughs> this was fun, but now you're mad, so I'm, I want to go. But home. now you're <laughs> mad, and now I can't get you to take me to Target. So <laughs> you know what I mean. And like, now we probably can't get a snack after this. And so. now we can't go get an ice cream cone. This is ridiculous. You promised me an ice cream cone. Seriously, like just do better next time. Like if you know that I'm coming, play a better round, okay? Yes, please and thank you. Or if you're sucking, just don't, just don't tell me, because I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You could have won. You could have right. won the whole thing, and I would. have Oh yeah, okay, absolutely. You, right. I'm like, wow, you did. That's crazy. I love that for you. So good. That's so funny. Well, let me know if you end up going golfing. Do you think you'll crack? Probably. <laughs> Probably, because Alex, like, Alex will literally do anything that I want to do. Yeah. And he's, and he never gives me any grief about it. Mm-hmm. So if I'd be like, hey, I kind of want to go do this, he'd be like, okay. So he's always so willing to do stuff, even though I know he doesn't want to do it, but right. he'll do it because I want to do it. So I'm like, Ugh. I got to reciprocate. Yeah, I got to reciprocate. Compromise, babe. It's okay. Yeah, get your Kindle. How Do you have a Kindle? I do. Is that a new thing? I, I got it for my birthday last year. 
Oh, okay. You love yes, it so much. Love my Kindle. Mm. It's and you could take it on the beach and the screen doesn't get dark. Really? It's perfect. It's perfect. I love my Kindle. Huh, okay. Mm-hmm. I saw one on sale for Prime Day. Dude, get one. Hmm. What do you, you like to Prime read? Day? I do Nothing. like to read. I just never finish the books, though, because, True. like, there's, like, multiple books. But if it was, like, all in one, I probably would finish it. Do it. Know? Yeah, because, like, you can – because you can it, – it's basically, like, I have the Kindle membership or whatever. It's, like, 12 mm-hmm. bucks a month. But it's, like, it's basically unlimited books. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah. you can go, and if a book sounds interesting, then you can add that to your list. Mm-hmm. So, like, basically, like, your reading list – and then when you finish a book, they're like, here's some suggestions based off of the book that you just read. So, yeah, I'm, I am loving my Kindle. Okay. Maybe that's you on my get list. One. I, I have not bought a, I have not bought a single thing on Prime Day. Nothing. I haven't. I honestly, I might just buy, I might go through my Amazon storefront and look and see if there's some stuff on sale and maybe yeah. get some like shampoo or something. Mm-hmm. But like, I really am trying to cut back on spending. Because I do this thing where I, like, I don't spend money for a long period of time. Mm-hmm. Or, like, I'll spend it on only, like, necessities only, like, groceries, gas, bills, things like that. And then it'll it'll kind of, like, it'll be, like, a tip over the iceberg. And it'll be, like, one day I'll be, like, I haven't gone on Amazon in a hot minute. And then I'm, like, add to cart, 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 buy. And then I go on, like, oh, there was this dress that I saw from literally the, literally the other day. I went on Amazon and I bought, like, six things all at once. And then I went over to Old Navy because there was this dress that I saw somebody wearing once and I bought the dress. And then there was like a pair of jeans that I wanted. And I just like literally no, like no remorse, not even like I'm so serious. I just said like, love it. bye, 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 bye. Like not even second guessing it. And I was just like, you know bye, what I mean? Bye, 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 bye. You know what I mean? Like the whole, the it was, whole it was thing. nothing but a thing. You were just like, click to pay, click to yes. pay. Yeah. Like, no, like, didn't even Google a promo code. Like, just add to cart, buy. I mean... You know what I mean? It, sometimes it's good. Like, some, that rush of just, like, woo! Yeah, exactly. Which is why I'm staying off of Amazon for a prime day. But, like, because I was this close to spending, like, $200 on an ice maker. Like, the nugget. Like, the, the nugget ice machines. Yeah. I want one so bad. I really do. That's funny. Because I love chomping on some ice. It is the best ice. The superior ice. It is so good. And like the Wawa, Wawa's ice is my favorite. Mm. And this morning I went because our ice, ma- our refrigerator is messing up. So our ice maker is not working. Oh, no. So I know it's so stupid. So I ended up going to Wawa this morning and getting an extra large cup full of ice. And mm. I filled my Stanley like to the brim and then poured water and it was crispy and it was perfect. But then I had like... I, I had basically that much of ice left and I was just chomping away and it was literally perfect. So, so but then I made the mistake, of course, of scrolling on TikTok and then a TikTok shop ad popped up for the nugget ice machine. Mm. And I said, maybe I'll check. I made the mistake of clicking on it. And now every other video on my for you page is somebody selling the nugget ice maker on a TikTok yeah, shop. Yeah, you're done. I'm like, I now I feel like I have to click uninterested, not interested yeah. to everything. It's kind of crazy how expensive they are, but they're mostly like 200 yeah. bucks. I know. There was crazy. one that, but then I've also seen videos of like people screenshotting things that they, they liked beforehand. Yeah. And then being like, oh, I want to see if it's like the same price on Prime Day. And then they like double the price and then it's like the original price, but it's a Prime Day thing. I don't know. But I saw some stuff like that. I don't know. I haven't seen that. I feel like I know a lot of stuff mm-hmm. that I buy is like repeat buy stuff. I feel like I know what the regular price is. Like for sure, I know my last serum is like at least five dollars off right now. Like you can kind of gauge, but I have seen those videos. Like the cart goes up by a hundred dollars or yep. something ridiculous on yeah. Prime Day because they make you think that the sale price is the original, or they right. make you think that the I don't wait what is it like I know, I know what you meant yeah, yeah. It's, it's like they're they're making it seem like that like it's on it's, sale they're jacking up the original price to make it seem like it was on sale but in reality the sale price was the original price yes like if it's $70 they have $70 in red letters and then it's like 110 crossed out on the side like it was never 110 right it was always 70 yep well okay so i bought a tripod like i got one that is good for travel it like basically 
slides and compacts down into like a six inch kind of like Ooh, tube type thing cute yeah so i was like okay that'll be good because i'm going to the beach friday oh god i hope it gets here in time i need to double check that um so i got that and then i bought some blue light glasses that are like cuter like they just okay. uh, they have bigger frames they're less of like the plain blue light shape right just like the square og cute i don't know they're like thick and chunky i thought they might be cute so yeah those are the two things that i ordered i love that not a crazy prime day i might go look at my shampoo and conditioner dude all redkin is 30 percent off yeah i'm thinking about re-upping on redkin either that mm-hmm. or pureology because i've heard pureology is also on sale oh, and i'm yeah. a pureology lover and i'm running out there you go so yeah i'll Get go look stuff. there i know and then maybe some like pimple patches or something dude the ones i use are like three dollars for prime day right now because there i have this quite literally gargantuan zit on the side of my face mm. and it and like it, it it's not even a white head like it's just there and it just exists mm. you know and i'm yeah, like pimple patch drives, dude i know i need to patch it those things are amazing I gotta patch it babe <sighs> Okay, well, this, I think, is the end, guys. I think so. I think we're signing off. We have sufficiently yapped. We love you so much, though, and we hope you follow our Instagram and rate us five stars and leave a nice little review, just, like, something sweet. Like, don't stress if it asks for, you know, please say five words. Just speak from your heart. Yeah, and if you're ever wanting us to talk about something pressing and you're like i really would love to hear their opinion i would love to hear them yap about it let us know yeah we love reading we love reading our dms because we always wait and we uh, at the beginning before we start recording we're always like let's go through our dms and see if we've gotten anything i know so so if you think we haven't seen it we have we've seen it so okay we love you guys so much all right y'all Until next time. (laughs) Bye. Bye.